Kayla, what a year for BYU women's athletics as a whole, from soccer to volleyball, cross country, women's basketball. I mean, all were performing at such a high level. So it's one thing to be the female athlete of the year, but to do it in this last year when things were at an all-time high, what does that mean to you to be the female athlete of the year in such an incredible women's sports year? I mean, yeah, wow, that's crazy. Like you said, it's been an incredible year for BYU women's sports as a whole, and to even be listed among some of those other athletes is is humbling in itself. And so to be recognized like that, it's just it's it's really rewarding, and it just makes me happy to be able to have been in that that stage and kind of be recognized with all those other amazing athletes. Well, not surprisingly, based on your year individually, you were one of the top players in the country on the Matt Herman Trophy finalist list. Your team goes to its first ever College Cup National Championship match. How would you sum up everything that happened for you individually and as a team? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a crazy year. I think because it was my last COVID year, my my for sure final year, you know, season, um, it was kind of just like, let's go for it. Last season, um, all in, just wanted to give it my all. And the team was really successful and it was just super fun to be a part of. And I always wanted to, I always said that I wanted to take Jed to a national championship. And uh, I was really happy that we were able to accomplish that and make it there and play on the biggest stage. And, and it was just an incredible year. I mean, really it was everything with that team and those girls being a lot of my best friends. Like it was everything that I could ask for. We're adding to your individual accolades, obviously, with this Y Award and featuring you on BYU Sports Nation. When you're receiving those things and those honors are starting to fly in, how do you manage that and still kind of stay the course? Because it's easy to get distracted. Um, yeah, I think I always feel like awards are kind of just a reflection of how successful the team is. And um, when you have a really successful team, individuals start to get recognized as well. And so... I mean, I'm honored to to be able to receive this type of award. Like I said, it's really humbling, but um, really it's just I don't get these kinds of awards without a team that that makes it to the highest level and is as successful as we were this past year. So it's really mostly a tribute to the team, and, and I'm just lucky to be a part of it. What's your message to the other finalists? Because they include a handful of national champions, notably Ashton Reiner and Courtney Wayman and Whitney Orton. <laughs> Well, honestly, they're just as much, if not more, deserving of this award than I am because to watch all their careers play out and see the success that they've had has been awesome. And I love watching each of them perform at their different um, sports. And, and it's just fun to all kind of be playing at the highest level together in each of our individual sports and, and really congratulate each of them as well for being finalists. How did you find out that you were the Y Award recipient? <laughs> uh, just now when you just told me <laughs> <laughs> oh it's fantastic hey we, we leave the drama right for the moment right I know you got the raw reaction I guess <laughs> that's that's fantastic uh, everybody wants to know what's going on in your career as well we know that you're playing with the United States women's national team the under 21 squad you're with the Orlando pride in the national women's soccer league uh, what's next for you in, in pro soccer and with team USA yeah, so it's kind of just uh, one day at a time. Um, we're in the middle of the season with Orlando right now, and and uh, we're tr we're starting to get things to fall into place a little bit more here. And and so I'm just trying to make any kind of uh, you know make any kind of adjustments that I need to to be successful at this level and contribute to the team and on a lot of different fronts. And wherever I'm called upon, I I'm ready to to do so. And then. With the national team, we have friendlies. Um, we don't have, I don't know the specific date or location of the next one, but we just barely returned back from Sweden. We played against Sweden and India, um, and that was a really cool experience. It's really awesome anytime you have the chance to play with the national team and play amongst the best players in the country. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Hope, hopefully we'll continue to be successful and, and perform, and, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, eventually play for the full national team. Uh, speaking of the national team, this will be our final question. Uh, you're playing against Ashley Hatch, who's in the NWSL, Cameron Tucker, your former teammate. Have you crossed paths with them? And if so, what was that like? 
<laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Anytime you get to see a, a former teammate or, or a former Coug, it's fun to connect. Um, it's like you're playing against them, but you kind of almost are cheering for them at the same time. But uh, every time that I get to play one of them, it's super fun, especially Cam being my really best friend and, and really good teammate. Um, it's fun to kind of play against each other, and we always are hanging out after the games. And there's always seems to be BYU fans wherever we're playing, <laughs> too. And so they always want to kind of get us together and take pictures with us or, or whatever. So it, it's really fun to play against them and see them and see their success as well. Kaylee, congratulations on all your success professionally. Of course, at BYU, taking the team to a place that had never been in the College Cup and the National Championship. And we wish you the best on your future pro career. Thanks, Spencer. Appreciate it.